Hello, this is part of our Photoshop for Beginners series, and I'm going to show you how to make a Valentine's Day photo card. I'm going to cover a lot of material, but I want you to note that in the video description below, there are links to other tutorials that will show you some of the things that I may go through very quickly in this example. So be sure to check those out. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be working on this template file, but if you don't have a template file, go ahead and create a file new. So file and new. And then we're going to work uh, at a six inch wide by four inch tall with a resolution of 300. Anything that you're going to be printing should be done at least at 300 resolution. Anything used on the internet uh, can be done at 72. Go ahead and click OK and you can work on this file here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my template file. Next we want to add our image. So file and then open and navigate to the folder where you have your image and select your image and click open. Now the image opens up in a brand new tab by default. So we're going to use a menu bar select all to select all of the image and then menu bar edit and copy. Go ahead and click back on the tab that is your template or your new uh, file and then edit and paste in place. So we've got to paste it in. Now in this case here this image came in extremely large here so I'm going to use some keyboard shortcuts to reduce it down. Now, if you don't know how to reduce your image down, uh, down below in the links, uh, in the de description, I've got a tutorial called Sizing Images. Uh, and you can reference that. That'll teach you how to resize your image down and explain everything that I just did. So now that my image is in place, uh, next we'll be moving on to adding some more Valentine's Day uh, effects. So I need to create a new layer. So I'm going to use the New Layer button and create a new layer here. You can also use the Options and then New Layer. If you don't know how to use the layers palette, I have another tutorial called uh, how to, uh, using the layers palette that you can uh, reference and learn how to work with that. Down here in the foreground color, I'm going to go ahead and click inside of this foreground color in this bottom corner here and select a red. Now just a quick tip, if you see this exclamation point, that's a non-printable color. Click the box below it to give you the closest printable color to it. Click OK. And I want the whole layer to be red, so I'm going to do edit and fill. And I'm going to select here from the contents foreground color and click OK. Now the entire layer is red. I do need to make this layer transparent, so I'm going to use a uh, layer blend mode called Multiply. Multiply makes white pixels on that layer transparent, which allows us to see through. Now I do have a tutorial also called uh, Three bl uh, Layer Blend Modes that you should definitely watch. Learn those three first, that'll uh, take you a long way. Now I've got red here, but I want to add some heart shapes, and I created some heart shapes in a separate file here. And uh, if you're interested in creating shapes, I have another tutorial called uh, Drawing Shapes, called Hearts. And that will teach you basically how to draw a shape or any other uh, shapes in Photoshop here. So I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut using my Move tool inside of the thumbnail icon. I'm going to hold down Control, click, that copies it, and then Edit and Copy and go back to my original file and I'm going to edit and paste in place now. Uh, okay, I'm going to use the move tool, select that heart and move it right over this area here and use that same technique. I'll demo it again using the move tool, hold down the control key over the thumbnail, not the layer name, thumbnail, that makes a selection. I'm going to turn that layer off and select the all red layer and inside of that I'm going to use the backspace key and just delete that section out. Now we're getting a little bit more interesting. Turn your heart layer back on. Now I, I don't want to see the red there. I need to make it transparent. So I'm going to do something different. I'm going to drop the fill option and make the fill 0%. That allows us to see through it. Now I'm going to jump into a layer style. So once again, I've got a new tutorial called using layer styles um, that you can watch to learn how to use, uh, do a lot more with layer styles. Just double click on the right side of the layer name and that pulls up the layer styles window. In there, I'm going to hit stroke, and I want you to click on the word stroke, not just use the checkbox. And I'm going to put a, an outline around the entire thing here. Uh, I'm using white as my color, just and uh, any size that you prefer is fine. And click OK. I want to make this a little bit larger here, so um, I'm going to use the Control T shortcut for the Transform tool. And once again, I do have a tutorial called the Transform tool. Be sure to check that out as well. So what I did is I made it a little bit larger, I turned it, just moved it, offset it, just to create some visual interest there, and that's looking really great. Well, the very last thing we need to do is use the Type tool, 
and I'm going to click over here and just write uh, happy, H-A-P-P-Y, but I can't see it, so I'm going to use the check mark up here to select it, and the reason it wasn't showing because it was red on red here, so I'm going to select white, and now I can see it. I've got a uh, font selected here called Great Vibes. It's a great font. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the size to 72. Use the Type tool, click back into it, and finish off my message. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, and then that's a little bit small, so I'm going to use the Transform tool that I mentioned earlier. Once again, Control-T, and just click and drag to make this a little bit larger here. And I'm going to drop it down, and that looks great there. There we go. We've got now our Valentine's Day photo card. I did quite a bit of stuff and it's been about five and a half minutes. So be sure to check out all the, the tutorials on 5minutetutorials.com that are listed below to explain each step in a lot more detail and then come back and review this so you can make your own Valentine's Day photo card. And also be sure to subscribe below. That way you can get all of our tutorials as they get published. Thanks for watching.